a little adventure, and I thought it might be more interesting to do that than watch me do maple syrup again. off the property I'm gonna go pick up a couple things I found on marketplace leaving the snowmobile here where we parked the truck at the end of our road and uh, yeah the road is very like compact ice from snowmobiles and driving on it so I can't get back to camp yet and it's packed down nice right here but back there at this intersection and up the hill not so much so wish me luck I was actually gonna leave you here but once I get moving I can't stop because it's all uphill out of here so, sorry I'm not gonna film any of this exciting stuff but I don't want to get stuck there is nothing exciting to show you this is the first time I've ever been down here you're doing ice and ruts like I said all it takes is one off the slide off the road and you're screwed heading up to Charlevoix Michigan we're about half hour 45 minutes from there there's a guy who's selling something that I thought looked pretty interesting. Kind of a goofy thing, but when I see goofy stuff that piques my interest and it's not overly expensive, I end up buying it. guys, today's video is brought to you by Timu. Timu is an online marketplace that offers the most competitively priced products in multiple categories, fashion, jewelry, home decor, pet supplies, and more. Products at ultra affordable prices so everyone can enjoy the conveniences and comforts of life. Timu offers free shipping and free returns for up to 90 days. They accept all major credit and debit cards, electronic payments, and pay later programs such as Klarna and Afterpay. Let's check out my Timu haul, guys. I'm so excited to share this with you guys. This was a lot of fun to check out the website and pick out items for the cabin. So I'm super excited to share this with you guys. So you guys know that I love, 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 love my solar lights, right? So I got lots of great solar lights. Got some cool new flame ones. Ones that will dangle. Like we can connect them maybe along the cabin and they'll hang. Those will look beautiful. I got two boxes of those. Got another solar light. Ah, I'm so excited guys about my solar lights. I got some tongs. I love, love, love this set I picked out. This is a beautiful teak set of utensils. We had a mismatch set going on just from the camper and stuff that's been given to us so it's really nice to have a beautiful wood set that's going to really complement our kitchen here at the cabin i got a nice little wooden ladle for when we make chilies and soups scoop it out and it matches my beautiful wooden set i got this little spoon rester and this spoon for me for coffee so this is a nice beautiful set again it just complements the kitchen and makes everything look nice and matching here at the off-grid cabin so guys if you want to check out timu and get your own personal haul like we did head over to timu.com or the google play store or the apple store and download the timu app and use our unique code listed below to save 30 percent the teak items like i showed aren't your cup of tea we have the silicone items that timu is featuring for all of our viewers they offer this in a variety of colors so click on the link below to redeem yours thanks for tuning in today guys and thank you timu for sponsoring today's video hey guys like a plethora <laughs> hey guys so 
we are at the location here. I'm picking up some. Hold on, got wind. Always windy. heavier and bigger than I thought they'd be, but guess what these would be perfect for? Oil and sap. So they're a little heavy duty. We'll see what we use them for. They might be a little too thick for what I was anticipating, but uh, you know, never hurts to have some stainless steel trays around, right? case scenario we uh, save them for 20 years until we get you know the apple orchard up and going so <laughs> thank you very much sir you're welcome thank you that went we're, that went really well so you guys been here a while 60 years 60 years yeah right. my uh i was three nice. we celebrated 60 years last year very nice congrats 60 I'm second generation, my kids are taking over. Oh, just apples or everything? Well, we, uh, we start our season with asparagus, strawberries, cherries, peaches, pears, plums, nectarines, apricots, apples. Cool. We'll have to come by in the summertime when you guys are in full pool. Do you do self pick or all just wholesale stuff? No, we do some you pick here. We do you pick. We do maybe some years we do a one day thing with you pick asparagus. Yeah. And then we do a lot with you pick strawberries and cherries here. Awesome. Strawberries in June, they lead right into cherries in the first part of July, or the, most of July. And then we take a break from you pick and start up apples. We do you pick at our market out on 31. Very nice. So. Awesome operation. Fisk. Frisky. Frisky. Frisky, Frisky orchards, yeah, my, guys. So my, check it out. My parents are German immigrants. Ah, very they nice. They came here in 52 and bought this farm 10 years later. It was run down bankrupt, 240 acre orchard, and they came to this country with nothing. And 10 years later, they were able to buy this with the, the help of the bank. And they got it from the bank, actually. And they had three little kids, and we all grew up here. And Not a bad way to grow up, right? Love it. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> very nice. Very yeah, nice. We've been blessed to. We, um, my younger brother and I took over in 83, but he left the business after about 11 years, and my wife and I. Um, raised our three kids here and now they're all taking it over that's an awesome that's the way it needs to be done right that's wonderful yeah awesome well thanks yeah. for telling me your story well, i appreciate pleasure. it so well, hopefully you guys it? come check out frisky farms or frisky orchard yeah frisky they get orchards all, our yeah. farm markets right on highway 31 cool so south of charlevoix Very and nice. we're building a brand new farm market right now we're super excited about that it's uh, taking us into the next era next the next market. step yeah. we just keep on growing right thank you, thank you. Thank you. 
cool. Awesome. I'll let these guys get back to work. Uh, they have a lot of stuff going on, I'm sure, prepping now. Yeah, going snows. to prune trees. The prune yeah. trees are already doing some spring cleanup of, around the yards and yeah. plow damage and getting ready for rain later today and tomorrow. Yeah, yeah get, got to get stuff done. So we're going to let these guys go. Thank you very much for giving me the little the story and the idea of what's going on. So, all right. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Have all right guys, so we got the uh, cider hopper and trays loaded up. I'm gonna get on the road and get out of these guys' way. Uh, they're coming into busy season, so pretty cool. Nice of this guy to uh, sell this stuff to me, tell me a little bit about their orchard and their story. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool here. There's like trees and barns and strawberries and cherry trees and apple trees and a little bit of everything. Beautiful. Look at all these trees this way, guys. Got an orchard right there. Got all these down here. Very cool. Very cool. All behind that barn and all right here. Beautiful stuff. So, yeah, guys. Very cool. Uh, 240 acre orchard up here near uh, East Jordan slash Charlevoix. I guess the closest city is Ellsworth. Charlevoix is just a few miles the other way. So pretty cool. Uh, this stuff I bought is all stainless steel. There's three huge pans and a big old hopper. It is heavy stuff. I was not expecting it to be this heavy. Uh, the pan that I have right now is really thin. So I'm not sure if that will transition well, uh, transfer the heat. We'll figure it out. Uh, I'll do some research and ask people on the Maple Cert page. That'd be cool. And uh, yeah, I could up my game next year too. <laughs> so now that we're out of the wind and stuff, here's what I got. This big old hopper. That's probably gonna, I thought that would be like a cool exhaust fan, even if we open it up on top, or maybe we could put a little fan on there and suck it out real, real fast. But even if you cut the top off and put an exhaust fan up there to shoot it out. But look at these pans, man, these are like heavy duty. I'm not sure if these will be good for, uh, you know, doing sap like I originally thought, cause they're so heavy you know engage so it might not transfer the heat real well but we'll find out all my rat all my straps keep getting broke because i do stupid stuff like this maybe i'll put something on there real quick all right very cool so i will figure something out to do with those the thickness kind of threw me off but uh you know whatever it's not like it's thousands of dollars i didn't spend a thousand dollars on those so i'll show you the adventure of getting them back to camp <laughs> and go from there all right, let's uh, go, guys. So, guys, it's amazing how different different parts of our state here in Michigan are. It's just amazing how different our state has different areas. Like, it's beautiful over here. Like, cattle farms freaking orchards blueberry farms that guy had cherries and apples and strawberries and everything man it's just amazing how if you really know what you're doing how you can make things work so anyway just wanted to tell you you know if you guys ever come through michigan check out different areas because it's the farther north you go it seems like the more beautiful it is i don't know why we all hunker to southern michigan but the farther north you go it seems like the more beauty there is so i'm gonna check my uh map here make sure i'm going the right direction because i'm a little distracted with you guys so thanks for hanging out with me i'll see you back at camp or back at the parking spot and we'll unload these bad boys Alright guys, made it back to the parking spot. 
pans are staying in the truck for the night it's getting a little later i need to finish up that sap so let's uh get the snowmobile turned around and get loaded up Get it too. Let's get this puppy going again so I could get it down to a couple gallons.
All right, guys. Jen was going to have me go out there and shovel a little bit of snow from the snowbank over here from the pole barn. And then I decided to see if the hose was thawed out. Let's go see if the hose is thawed out for the water tank. Laugh, laugh, giggle, giggle. <laughs> that would save us a lot of trouble. Maybe it's already filling up and I just didn't tell you. <laughs> All right, guys. First easy water we've gotten for the year. It's been raining for two days. Washed away most of our snow, except for down at camp. Everything up here by the cabin is done. But look, our tank is full of water. It's 32 degrees out. But look at that beautiful, beautiful water. That water right there would have taken like three hours to melt and collect and melt and collect. It would have taken half a day. So now I just put it right on the wood stove and warm it up. So look, but somehow everything's thawed out from the hose over there. I just have it gravity feeding right now. Somehow it didn't crack either. But we collected about a hundred, about a hundred gallons of water over the last couple days of rain because it rained off and on it rained pretty hard so i set up the thing i showed you that in a video i hope or at the beginning of this video depending upon where i stick it and uh yeah the wind blew this out it's been so windy so i gotta get something to strap that down a little bungee or something but uh yeah sweetness Super cool, super cool. So I'm gonna take this bucket of water inside. Pretty cool, huh? That's first easy water of 2023. <laughs> Shower for Jen. Gravity feet, guys, look. Water. No water. <laughs> it's like right at the limit. So, uh, make this work. It's cool making it work it's freezing out here though it's 32 degrees and windy per usual always windy up here we got three pots of water really quick good stuff good stuff solar's going they say you can't be self-sufficient rely on no one Some sunshine. Good stuff. 450 watts. That'll be charged in three hours at that rate, but it's gonna get better from here if it's if the clouds don't cloud up. So alright guys, cool. That's the 10 gallons of the easiest water I've gotten in a while.
one's huge. This one doesn't have casters on it. The other ones have casters and like a steel plate all the way on the bottom. So I wonder if I can cut those off and they'd be more useful to me. I don't need casters on, on them. And that's what most of the weight is. Like this one's half the weight of those smaller ones because it doesn't have that big steel plate on the bottom. I don't know, we'll see. This thing's huge. This thing's gotta be four foot by four foot. I don't have a tape measure. Sweet. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. I don't know why it's cool, but someday. Someday this this will be perfect. And it'll be awesome. It'll be like, oh my goodness, I can't believe I got such a great deal. Guys, I love my ridiculous life. I'm gonna go throw this one on top of those pans and keep those ones clean for the for a while till I get them in their permanent place. I just put them in the cul-de-sac because I can't really ride the snowmobile around anywhere where I'd want to put them permanently. I can't ride them up to the pole barn where they could be safe and out of the weather. We got a lot of cool stuff around here to set up. We got stuff that we've been prepping for a couple years uh, to use once the cabin got more settled, and this is going to be part of that. And we got outdoor kitchen stuff, all, all kinds of cool stuff, guys. We didn't have a use for it, but we bought it when we got a good deal on it, rather than waiting till we needed it. So that's kind of that's kind of the motto around here. If you don't have a lot of money, you got to buy stuff when you find a good deal not buy stuff when you need it that's kind of always been the motto of the channel and follow your dreams obviously but that's kind of cliche but anyway so let's go put this one away and i'm gonna make a run up the road to see if we can see if the road's got any damage to it since all that rain and go for one last ride on the snowmobile before we put her away guys flop that over upside down I'll keep the pans protected all around that hopper I don't know what I'm gonna do with that I got a cool idea so we'll see if I can make it work and it might have to do with the hot tub <laughs> the off-grid hot tub I'm gonna make it work I want my hot tub to hot heat up fast none of this freaking three hour heat siphon crap four hour i want it to heat up in like an hour anyway let's flip this over Oh. 
guys, I bought this little sled a couple years ago from some guy for a hundred bucks. It's an ice fishing sled he built. And I almost didn't buy it for a hundred bucks. I was like, man, it's not, you know, I would say it was more like a $50 purchase because I could buy a sled for, you know, a hundred, like a, a sled sled. But man, am I glad I bought this thing because it's versatile. Jenny can stand on the back and the dogs sit here and I could put so much stuff on this and it's not tippy. I mean, it's awesome. Another Craigslist or Facebook find. I think it was Facebook, but I think it was Marketplace. $100 well spent. Alright guys, moment of truth. We have those two, what I believe are 3x3 three three stainless pans. They have casters on the bottom. This was from the cider mill. So they used them for making cider. Smooshing apples and cider. Must have had a press that smooshed them down and all the juice came out and stuff. So two 3x3 three three pans and one 4x4 four four pan. I haven't measured it. I'm assuming it looks about that size. And then that hopper over there. Told you I'd tell you what I paid. Hope you guessed before the end of the video. If you didn't guess yet, put it in the comments. Pause for like 30 seconds and put it down there. Again, no cheating, guys. <laughs> $150 for all four of those. I'm pretty sure just buying that much stainless steel would have cost five times that much. But I could be wrong. I don't know. I've never priced out stainless steel. So I'm pretty happy with that big 4x4 four four pan. The only thing I'm worried about with possibly using these for uh, maple syrup is the thickness of them this one doesn't have the casters and the big steel plate on the bottom so it's lighter the big four footer um, but it's still thick i think it's still like an eighth of an inch thick i'm gonna ask on the maple cert pages and see what they think i'm gonna have to i don't have like a measuring tool to gauge it and stuff but i'm wondering if it's too thick if the heat won't transfer as well but that's a big boiler if you yeah <laughs> I don't have a boiler that big, so maybe I'll come up with something better. But I like that evaporator that I have, but it, it would be cool if I ever do go commercial level or like full time in the spring on it. This is what I need. I'm sure if I went somewhere and needed the material and someone to make me specialty pans for evaporator, I'm sure I'd spend 500 to 1,000 bucks. Probably 500, three or four or 500 for one big pan like that. Uh, much less three of them and that hopper so anyway i'm gonna make a ride up the road so i can check the road make sure we can get out of here in a couple days we gotta go down state for a little bit so 150 bucks guys i'm uh, pretty happy with that purchase and even if they sit there for a little while or a couple years or i you know move them to the pole barn and store them uh you know i'm sure stainless steel i could always use some use them for something if i don't use them for the intended purpose or maybe my apple trees will grow like weeds and I'll have an orchard here in 10 years and I'll use them then. <laughs> so, woo. so, all right guys, gonna head up the hill. I'm gonna go do some other fiddle, fart, fiddle farting. Thanks for going on this little adventure with me. Uh, just kind of get a different pace, different pace than just working on the cabin all the time. I'm going to start including more adventures uh, out on the boats fishing, more outdoor stuff, more in the woods stuff, more fiddle farting with stuff. I'm going to start including that more in my videos. Um, you know, a couple years ago when the channel's tiny, 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 you don't get any views on those random videos, but I think you guys would be interested to see all the other stuff we do. We're not sitting around doing boring stuff. We're doing weird, neat stuff like this. I have to work on the tractors a lot this year. We have all kinds of awesome projects coming. So if this is the first video you've watched by chance, subscribe, hang out with us. If it's not and you guys have been here forever, we appreciate you as always. And uh, we'll see you on the next one, okay? All right.